Mark my words. I guarantee you this in GHL might be the future of websites as we know it, and I'm sure other platforms do it as well. But when it becomes so popular in GHL, just remember that I said this first. So we're about to show you a really cool feature that we got closed beta access to. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see it before everybody else, but it's, what is it called even? It's a uh, voice AI chat widget. I would just Chat widget. Okay. So chat the, voice AI. Yeah. So basically think of the chat widget on a website but you can talk to it and interact with it. And again, you might've seen other platforms out there, but this one's built inside of GHL and we're gonna show you the nitty gritty with it. We're gonna set it up and actually show you how it works. Now, again, this is closed beta access, so we do not expect it to be perfect, but we do wanna let you know that it exists, how it works. That way, when it does get publicly released and available to you, you can hit the ground running and shred your competition because you'll be ahead of them. So let's go ahead and get to it, man. Hey, so you're like the first man on the moon type of situation here. Yeah, first man in the agency moon thing. For yeah. voice AI chat widget on a funnel. Too many words. Let's yeah, go. let's just show them. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna be in the AI agents within a specific sub account. Again, as he just said, this we have closed beta access. We're in a private Slack with Sean and the AI developers. So uh, feedback is also really really important. So if you you know getting feedback from your AI whenever upon release, please let us know. We'll pr we'll provide that feedback to them and make it as awesome. Or, as or awesome. what you would like to see after seeing this? Like yeah. if you have really cool ideas, let us please. know. Because like I said, we are in a private Slack channel with all the, the developers that do the AI stuff, and you might be able to help influence some of the things that come to uh, fruition or come to life once it's available. So. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, also to add, this is beta access. So what we're going to be going through it may look slightly different whenever you have access access. So mm -hmm. At the time of shooting this video, if it looks slightly different, uh, it's just because we had beta access when we shot this video. And again, we'll make updates. I was going to say, if you got page. access and you're seeing this video, you're probably watching an old one. So go watch one of our new ones. So. Okay. So first things first, I want to build a voice AI mm -hmm. that's going to live on this website. So I'm going to go to create agent and we're going to build a pretty simple, straightforward, build it in five minutes just to kind of get up and running, um, kind of give you the good idea. So create custom agent. So we're going to pop over this page. We always like the name Chloe. Let's go to business name. Let's just put CEO lab here. Um, I'm doing English. Pick your own language. My voice, the voice that I like the most, as you can see, there's 205 voices you can pick from. There's 205 now? There's 205. Hey, it was not that many not so long ago. I'm going with Dakota. I go with Dakota pretty much every single time. Um, Dakota, in my opinion, is the best voice AI inside of JHL. That's just me personally. You got a thing for Dakota. Me and, me and Dakota like this. <laughs> Don't tell my girlfriend, though. I said this previously. You know? I don't feel like that meme. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to save the voice. Um, I'm putting the high quality only, so I'm going to save this voice here. And as you can see, we're going to be inbound. Um, we also do have a whole video on outbound voice AI, and we just did uh, outbound voice AI beta access. Oh, yeah, as well. if you're seeing this and like neither of those are available, go check that out. Yeah. You get like sneak peek yes. of what's coming, so you're ready when it when it's available. Recommend so. it, recommend it. So we're going to delete this here real quick. Advanced settings. Let's leave it to five minutes. We're going to do brisk. Fast a little to me is personally just a little too fast. That's and, and depending on the industry, brisk may sometimes be too quick. Obviously, mm -hmm. play with it and see what suits yours or your client's needs. Exactly. And then we're going to click next. We're going to go agent goes. I'm not going to switch to advanced mode. This is the advanced <laughs> mode where you can add your accents, uh, actions and do all this aw awesome custom stuff and do all of this. In a whole separate video, we have a full-blown voice AI masterclass where we break down literally pretty much every single button, uh, all that stuff going on. For the sake of the video and time, because I know you want to see this live, we're going to switch to basic. We're going to grab the name, grab the email, contacts issue, and then we're going to keep it pushing. Um, you can also trigger workflows whenever call completed. Now, this this is pretty sick. We're not going to do it in this video, but yeah, imagine somebody hits your website, maybe even a landing page from mm. ads, secret sauce here. We do that for all our clients. Hit the landing page. They're either talking to a chat widget, conversational AI, or you start using this new voice AI. They interact. Hey, what trouble areas are you looking to help with? It talks to them. It qualifies them. They're deemed a good fit. Now we can send a calendar booking link if we haven't scheduled them conversationally, which we collect prepays. So we can send that calendar booking mm -hmm. link with the spot or option for them to prepay. And Sean just yesterday put coupon code. So you could probably even set it up to where like your voice AI gives a special coupon code that nobody else gets. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of little cool things that you can do. So. <laughs> okay wow should we just go make that video i'm kidding okay so everybody else is as excited as you <laughs> that was awesome that was actually really smart I'm, we're gonna do that like this week okay yeah. um also i'm gonna always leave on uh post call completion reminders going to admins you can do it to whoever but i want to get a, a summary of this phone uh this phone call so we're gonna click next 
clicking phone availability. So very, very important. You have to click a phone for this to work. So what we're going to do is click here and I'm going to click this phone number. We, we bought this phone number specifically for this reason. Um, nothing else needs to happen on this as of now. Again, full blown voice AI masterclass where we go through literally all of these settings. And you can also see what it would actually sound like if you did it here. Again, this may look differently when you have access, but this is what it looks like for us if we wanted to test it. Carefully, we only uh, got 10 minutes today, man. Yeah, only 10 minutes. Okay, so let's save this. So now we have this voice AI. It's in our uh, settings here. So we have this voice AI. We named it Chloe. Next thing we need to do is we need to pop over to our chat widget because we need to make a chat widget. It may sound kind of weird. Wait, is it chat widget? Is it voice widget? What What is this? Voice widget. Voice widget. That sounds pretty good. Voice widget. Yeah, it might have you heard it here channel. first. <laughs> it's probably it's probably here. Already. <laughs> it's already called voice. Oh, it's called voice app. Voice widget. Voice widget well, sounds pretty cool. You know, hey, y'all see you can say voice widget. Y'all know who it was. Yep. It's not another guru. It's your yeah, favorite. Yeah, not them, not them gurus claiming our work is theirs. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of those out there. Your favorite guru's favorite guru. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come to chat widget. Again, if you don't have access to this right now, it's because we have beta access. If you're seeing this in the future and it looks different and it says voice widget, it's because of us. All right, we're gonna click voice AI. <laughs> And it's going to create this chat widget and we can change the settings. If you've been in GHO for a while, you've probably already seen um, what this actually looks like. It's very similar to the chat widget in the live chat where you can change the color. You can even change the icon of what it looks yeah, yeah, like. One huge difference you'll notice mm -hmm. is that's not a chat bubble. It's a phone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the biggest difference. Uh, but you can also change what's actually on the welcome message. So look, hi there, have a question. I want to text us here. Call us here. Come on. Talk to us here. I don't even feel like it's a call, you know? That's, that sounds like effort. Talk, talk to, talk talk to, us, to us I always say talk to Oh, if I could type. Mm. That's why I should call because I can't. Talk us here? Talk to us here. All right. Get yeah. it? Is that the right two? Give me the keyboard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And then um, right now, and honestly, we don't need a really a lot of these other settings because it's voice. Real quick though, like like just uh, some secret sauce here, like whether you're using chat widget or voice widget, uh, voice widget sticks. That, that's a good one. Um, but we we usually change like so we're running these on landing pages or whatever the current offer is of somebody's website. So like we're saying, what specific trouble areas do you want to focus? I'm trying to use a question that kind of instigates or pushes curiosity. on that pain point. But yeah, it causes curiosity, gets them to click mm -hmm. and, and communicate with us. So I would probably do that same thing here. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I just can't type. So we're not going to do that. That's here. okay. Yeah. This, this is all right. Okay. All right. So then we're going to go to chat window. So then we can also edit the chat window as well. So I like the, we do us. have a different picture other than that classic girl yeah. that every chat widget on the entire Absolutely. internet uses. Yeah. So we could change this and there's also other uh, styles. And if you wanted to go back to the widget customization, you could change the avatars, add your own avatar, I we, we should put a headset on you and then put it on there. Well, that would be Dakota. Cool. Yeah, you could be. Okay. <laughs> a couple of Dakotas. <laughs> okay. And then uh, additional options, you can turn on your agent. Shout out Dakota if you're watching this. Shout out to Dakota if you're watching this. Um, but again, title, you can change all of this stuff. You can change all the colors, call us here, talk to us here, whatever it may look like. Build curiosity so somebody actually wants to, um, you know, click on this call us here button. Yeah, I'd probably say talk to us now talk or something. Us. Like that. What, what do you want? Where do you want? Talk to us where? Yeah, talk to us now. On this, on this button or you want it here? No, I like to talk to us up there and then like, I would say talk now right there. Mm, talk you know, maybe, now. Maybe, maybe my opinion will change later, but I like talk now. How do you spell that? Uh, Not like that. You don't want just it like kidding. that? That's, no, that's good. perfect. That's good. That's perfect. I would like. Well, would just to me, this is less friction. Like again, mm. call seems like effort. Talk to us. Oh, click talk. Like, cause you Ooh. gotta, you gotta think like this talk. is going to be new You're right. to anybody seeing this like this is new to us yeah talk now it's like oh i can talk to somebody right now like yeah and maybe even talk right now yeah. hey, all the chat widgets are gonna look like that it's from him yeah Not put plus plus you. after so we know okay you're right let's put that right there real quick <laughs> boom boom plus Ooh, plus. there we go i like that okay see that probably convert higher just by having that so mess if you wanted to change the language you could select your language on this as well and then now to the special sauce we need to click on the agent so we click on the agent it's already selected with Chloe. You have to make sure you are actually selecting an agent here. Make sure you're selecting the right agent. If you have multiple agents, same names, make sure you actually are selecting the right agent here. If you needed to create a new agent, it'll send you back to create a new agent. But for instance, we're gonna do Chloe right there. And all we're gonna do is click save top right hand corner. And now our voice widget, that's what we're calling it. We're taking it, trademarking that. We're gonna, <laughs> high level's gonna have to pay us to put that on there. I feel like we're gonna get a season to six after this video. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we love you guys. Sorry, Sean. I promise. I promise. I'm just kidding. Okay, so then we're gonna go to funnels. Why are we at funnels? You could do this on websites or you could do this on funnels, but we need to actually create a funnel uh, to actually put this voice widget on. I love that. That is your yeah, voice widget's got voice nice widget. Reboot. I give you that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I take them all. But uh, from templates, I'm just gonna go to templates and let's go do SaaS, right? Because you know you're potentially selling SaaS or you know agency services, whatever. I'm gonna choose this as a template. Click continue. Let this load in. This is all live. And then as soon as it loads in, I don't want to edit anything I love here. It's snappy today. I'm telling you. Uh, and then we're going to go back because I don't want to edit anything. I just need to go to the settings. So real quick, I'm going to go all the way back to the funnel. This is the funnel. I want to click on it to open up steps. I want to click on settings. When we click on settings, <clears throat> we're going to go to chat widget and we're going to be able to Mm, click on the chat it. widget voice widget mm, you already go. messing up let's, your own brand go back let's go back now we got to go back voice <laughs> put the little t in <laughs> widget oh it's like voice widget that works that boom works. boom okay so let's refresh our page don't stress just refresh boom mm -hmm. just like that if your favorite guru is favorite guru right here said it first Okay, yeah. so then we're going to go back and then we're going to click settings. I didn't save it earlier, so now we're at the voice widget. So we labeled it properly. It's actually really, really good. As much as we're joking, that's also very, very important to label stuff properly because I've been in the situations where I have something that's going to specifically to this, but I don't know the labels. So then I got to go back or then I click the wrong oh, one. Yeah, labeling and, takes you like an extra few steps to do. But it's one, it's it. the difference between like powerhouses and, and being able to scale more efficiently. It sounds so like crazy and uh, like we're making it sound more important than it is, mm -hmm. but I promise you, like when you start to grow or like if you're working in a client's account, you're gonna evolve as a marketer. Yeah. You're gonna have new things. You're gonna have all these workflows. Mm -hmm. And like you guys have probably already seen your workflows and it's like this laundry list of things and you have no clue where anything is. So hard to troubleshoot. But when you start labeling properly and just taking the extra minute to do it, Tell you, life and business and agency gets easier. It's worth it. Okay, so going back to settings, I just click the chat widget. It's going to load in here, and I just click save, and it's going to take me back to my steps. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is I want to take this view page. So all I'm going to do, as you can see right here, I'm going to click on view page. It's going to pop. Can you send it to my phone? Open. I'll send it to your phone. Let's do that. Yeah. We'll pop it. this open. I want to grab this URL for my view page right there, and I'm going to send this to Jeff. He's going to pull it up on his phone. Yeah, I want to see what like at. a client or customer exactly. would see. This is actually my first time using this. Exactly. Okay, so movie magic. Ready? One, two. Okay, I just sent over the URL to Mr. Ah, I got it on my watch. Look, Mr. Plus Plus himself. So he's gonna pop open this uh, funnel that we just created. You're literally seeing the same thing that he's seeing. <laughs> Should we put some glowing effects on that? Okay, but anyways, I got the little little uh, phone button here. Oh, that's cool, Chloe. Uh, Chloe's right there. Chloe's right there. Hard to see, but let's hit talk now. See what happens. Oh, allow. This is different. This is cool. Hey, you have reached CEO Lab. How can I help you today? Yeah, I want to grow my business really fast, um, but I, how do your services work? Great question. A team member will reach out to you with all the details about how our services work and how we can help grow your business. To get started, could I grab your name? Yeah, it's Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. That's J-E-F-F, -F, right? Yep, correct. Perfect. Could you also share your email address so we can contact you? Yeah, it's uh, Jeff is better than Charles at gmail.com. Got it. So that's J E F F I S B E T T R T H A N C H A R L E S at gmail.com, correct? It, perfect, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Lastly, just to confirm, you're looking for help to grow your business quickly, right? That is Anything correct. You'd like us to focus on? Um, I. I keep hearing about these Facebook ads and these internet ads. I want to do stuff like that to, that makes money. Lots of it. Got it, Jeff. So you're interested in exploring things like Facebook ads and other online advertising strategies to drive revenue. I'll make sure our team knows that's your focus. They'll reach out to you soon with all the details and next steps. Anything else you'd like help with for now? Uh, No, that's it. You've been great. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. Our team will be in touch soon to help you get started. Have an awesome day. Do you want to talk to her? Come on, man. <laughs> Here it goes again. But that was that was it. That Dude, was really that is that was really awesome. Again, and really quick, just want to touch on this. 
I did no additional prompting. I did literally yeah, like it, it didn't know about our services or anything like that. Nothing. So it says like, oh, we'll get you somebody. But yeah. that that was the basic, 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 basic version of a voice AI on uh, a actual funnel itself or website. You might say that truly is. Just so you guys know, that's the first time I've actually interacted with that, and I've seen him do it, like because mm-hmm. he's the one that builds everything and plays with it. And I've watched it happen, but like that's the first time I've actually interacted with it myself. That. That was smooth. That was almost smoother than the phone. Like, <laughs> that was pretty solid. So uh, that was a quick walkthrough video. So we went from actually building a voice AI agent to actually building the voice widget to putting the voice widget on a funnel to actually testing this uh, voice widget on an f- uh, actual funnel itself through a phone with like a client kind of facing experience. And overall, I thought it was a pretty awesome experience with us building it in literally five minutes and actually no additional prompting. So with some tweaking, some adjustments, some prompting, oh my, the, 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 and the endless. Cool thing that like, if you have a, a voice AI that's already working, mm-hmm. um, you can just use this for the, yeah, yeah. and then of course just adapt it to be exactly. able to speak on the website. So Correct. All right, so uh, real quick, if you guys have any suggestions or like things you'd like to see, again, we are in a private Slack channel with Sean and all the developers for the AI stuff with GHL. Not a flex, but letting you know that if we get enough comments about feedback of stuff you'd like to see and it makes sense, we'll pitch those ideas to the developers and you might be able to help shape, uh, you know, what comes out with the AI features. So that's it for this video and we'll see you in another video. Yeah, go watch another one. Later.